some of my more popular videos in uh, my Swedish YouTube channel have been about the planned obsolescence in uh, one of Sweden's biggest retail stores, Biltema. They're quite similar to Walmart. They say, sell all kinds of shiny cheap crap. You can get e-bikes really cheap here and, um, and they have no batteries in stock at all. Everything is sold out and they won't get new ones until August. That's like two months. This cheap ass bastard won't even fly in spare batteries. So all the thousands of customers that can suffer from this problem can't even buy new batteries because they're so fucking cheap it doesn't cost them more than five bucks per battery to ship them somewhere between five and ten extra bucks for sh for hazardous air express freight it's insane that they, that that they can't get this spare part for all of their thousands of customers so i get in a lot of these battery packs they have two versions from this vendor uh, this uh, is an OEM battery and I've not been able to find the original manufacturer of this. However, uh, on these cases you can see that the labels are uh, they're, they're made by the same company and uh, not Biltema, uh, the original manufacturer. And here we can have the name project name RS115. And here is the project name Pan B. But both of these ones have plan of the lessons. Especially the versions from 2015 and 2016. The first thing the battery does, it does not charge all the way up. Here is an original charger. It has two pins, there, there is no smart function here. Can you see that? Probably. And it's 42.5 volts. So the charger is not wrong, doing anything wrong. Uh, it's 33.8 volt, so that's not much. It should be able to take a charge, right? It's only like uh, 10 or 20 percent capacity. Then you connect the charger. So the charger is not defect, uh, but the battery won't take any charge. Uh, in this case, the indicator says it's almost empty, but this uh, planned ob obsolescence has two stages. First, it's only charged to about 33 to 45 volts and then stops uh, the battery from charging. Then after a few more weeks, it stops uh, charge, it, it stops receiving charge at all. And also this indicator goes on to saying it's fully charged even though it won't take a charge and the capacity is very low. So, uh, I want to hear from you. If you've seen this battery pack before and this is the lithium ion cells, it's a lot... Um, I'm gonna show you in the inside. If you've seen other brands using this battery pack, please let me know. Now this one is glued together, so they might be a little bit hard to open up. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside and I usually keep this label as a trophy and I'll let you know when I reach, reach a thousand of these. Uh, here is the positive and negative from the battery. So you can check the voltage here as well to see if it matches the charging port. It's about the same, 34, 45 volts. And here's the discharging port. This one is not on on this battery. Uh, it can only be turned on by the um, uh, by the e-bike using uh, this red cable activating it. Maybe some of the cells are low. It need balancing. Yeah, of course I thought that too. But this is 100% planned of the lessons. It's really tricky to get out. Uh, it's very hard to read the individual values on the test because for some reason they skip the standard 1, 2, 3, 4 and get, goes like 2, 6, 7, 5, 2, 1 or stump stupid. So you can measure some of the cells. Uh, this one is 3.6. 
if we have two cells so that those are about 3.5 each so we have three cells that are about 3.5 each since they refuse to do the logic thing making them in series in order uh, so it's impossible to measure all the cells then you have to remove all this mummification and measure each of these tabs and removing all these tape takes more than 10 minutes so I'm just gonna show you how to reset this plan of the lessons in the BMS and you start by removing these leads great already done halfway there and you have to remove this one that comes from the battery uh, now the BMS has no power it's still connected to the positive uh, that's over here but otherwise it has no connection to the battery uh, to make sure it's reset, I will have to drain the last couple of millivolts it has uh, stored in some of the components. And I do this using a multimeter which uses some of the current or voltage to actually check what's going on. And here is between, you can see that there is some voltage and this one is out of range. So it goes down to millivolt and then restarts and then you know there is nothing left over here. And I usually take this one as well because there can be some... some electricity stored in here and I usually do the charge port as well but now it just goes around looking for any traces of voltage so this BMS has, has now officially been reset and has no power so it's gonna start up, it's gonna boot up like it's brand new let's see if it takes a charge Yes, now the charge indicator is uh, shining red right and now it's going to charge all the way up to 42 volts again. This is 100% plan of the lessons. I'm so sure of it. I've taken in so many batteries so far and it's not uh, just Biltema. There are other companies as well. Uh, one is called Evo Bike or Nordbutiker or Rull. It was Marvel in motion. So we have at least three companies in Sweden having planned obsolescence in their battery packs and I believe this is a future that's gonna spread to other manufacturers in China and to other importers because it's a great future you force your customers to buy a new battery pack exactly when the 3 year warranty runs out on the same fucking day you just have to make sure you're not st so stupid like Bill Tema and not have spare batteries in stock uh, please let me know if you find this exact battery in your home country or this battery for a small folding bike in your country or if you can find any other batteries that have planned on of the lessons. Uh, I think BH, BH bike uh, have, have that future in their batteries or something is seriously wrong with those crappy batteries. There are awesome bikes but they are crappy batteries and also IKEA Folkwandlig the latest version from 2016 that has been discontinued of course that one might have planned other blessings or other faults but uh, I'm not sure yet but this one you should be aware, aware of uh, closing this one up isn't that hard but you can continue watching if you have nothing better to do I'm sure there are more interesting YouTube videos wrap that one on over there and Check to see if it goes all the way down. And this one will also get a small repair label indicating that it's been reset. And my date code. Try to figure that one out, will you? And just double check that everything works again. No problem charging. Uh, here is another one of these uh, flawless batteries with planned obsolescence. However, in this case, something else is wrong. This customer has been to build Tema and she has been waiting two months for they to get to uh, do something. They say the battery is not working and they can't get new ones. This one had a it's a bit lower voltage, so I'm gonna check some things before I try to reset it. Actually, when checking RCA ports, it's better to use another RCA port and not try to stick things in the multimeter. Like that, and uh, 
positive is in this wire and you can rest the multimeter in that groove and you can check anywhere over here and this one is giving 42.5 volts I hope you saw that I won't do it again and connect it I did connect it earlier and it started charging but it stopped charging after a minute okay that was less than a minute so it starts charging and then it stops and if the voltage is the same as before yeah it's uh, about 30 volts so something is very low in here so this might be another problem also here, here you can see something funny in my eyes at least um, they, they are, they're a big company, they have warehouses in all of Scandinavia so they've written a warning on four different languages it says you have to charge the battery for at least 14 hours before first use and then you have to charge the battery every month and they, sp spent, and they also misspelled this word so yay good job there why should you charge a lithium ion battery 14 hours before the first use no, you do not need to do that at all. That is something you need to do with nickel cadmium or neem hydride batteries. This is a myth, this is nothing to do with lithium ion batteries. And companies writing this kind of info has no ID. They google battery safety, battery tips on the internet and they just write down in the manual everything they can find. This has nothing to do with lithium ion batteries. They do not need to charge for 14 hours. Of course, when you first buy the e-bike, maybe you want to charge it up before you ride the first time, but that is up to you. you I usually use my muscles to open this one. But you can use tools as well. All this silicone and yeah, sometimes they stick to the front light, but no worries. I know exactly how to fix this. Ta da! So, how am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my trophy just in case because we will probably need to reset. Let's check the individual voltages of the cells. I'll start over here at the top. 3 .0. 3 .0. 3 0. Down. 3.0 then I think it turns around like this 3.0 here you have a low one 2.7 uh, these are a little bit low and 3.0 3 3.0 3.0 uh, last one 2.9 uh, but still 2.7 it is uh, not that bad it should be able to charge so I'm gonna go ahead and restart this uh, planned of the lesson and see if that might be why causing this as well and do my little magic with the multimeter draining 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 and final draining no. have you played state of decay 2? great game can't run it on my computer though it just crashes like that let's see if it's uh, 
I want to take a charge. Now charging. Let's see the voltages. And again, it's not dangerous to charge a cell that's over 2.5 volts. That is the actual range of the lithium ion chemistry. Any cell that's over 2.5, there is like no problem. Now this one is up to 3 volts. And the other cells are 3.2 volts. So it was the plan of the lessons in this one. 3.135. Yay.